Good Monday morning, everybody, from the First Defense Doppler 3 Weather Center. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with the Monday morning edition of News Channel 3's exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime, keeping you updated on what's going on with the forecast. A lot to talk about this morning, including a look at a dangerous storm in the Caribbean. It's not affecting the United States at this time, but if you're heading to Florida or anywhere on the East Coast in the next few days, you need to pay attention to this storm. We'll talk more about that in just a little bit. We'll take a look at what weather is doing around the Mid-South with live real-time weather coming up on our WeatherNet systems. If you'd like to sign up for a WeatherBug station and all the equipment involved, you can contact Tim Simpson at his email address. He's our liaison with Automated Weather Systems. If you'd like to know more about the WeatherBug system and what exactly it entails and how you can get it set up at your school or business, you can contact him at tim.simpson at wrhg.com. Forecast in the bottom right corner of your screen showing again temperatures for today back in the 80s with winds out of the east and partly cloudy skies clearing for tonight low temperatures dropping back on down into the lower to mid 60s beautiful morning so far temperatures rising nicely view from windy country club showing a little bit of some sunshine this morning and a little bit of haze out toward the horizon. A few clouds out around the area this morning and into this afternoon. More clouds expected later on this afternoon by the time we hit rush hour home. and By the time the kids get out of school, temperatures will be back into the lower to mid 80s across much of the area. Your exclusive exclusive cough temp decks and tongue firmly in cheek if you've never seen this before. Recommendations on what your beverage temperature should be based on the weather across the Mid-South area. It's going to be a cool morning out there so a hot cup of java would not be a bad idea and this afternoon a little bit on the warmer side so maybe something to cool you off once again your coffee your temperature your business if you get a brain freeze or burn your tongue that's your business not ours so there as of right now looking out of the mississippi river from our tower cam up river toward mud island and eastern arkansas on the far left hand side of your screen Mississippi River at five feet above zero stage and expected to increase by just a little bit over the next few days as a lot of water starts to head on downstream from areas into around portions of Iowa and the upper Midwest. They got socked in with a decent amount of rain in the last couple of weeks and all that is still draining its way southward. So we're going to see a bit of a rise coming on through, but this is nowhere near flood stage and not a problem throughout the rest of the Mid-South. No earthquakes to report in the last 24 hours according to information from from the United States Geological Survey and from the Center for Earthquake Research and Information at the University of Memphis. Very quiet conditions there. Great view of the area in and around Germantown from X Airbus Drivers Backyard Garden. Picking up from the party this weekend on the Ole Miss campus, the view from the Union, Cam Union Plaza camera. Showing again a little bit more activity out there as the maintenance crew gets things cleaned up and students head on out for classes early this morning. Power Center Academy in Memphis. Plenty of sunshine as school gets underway at this time. Olive Branch from former Mayor Sam Reichard's webcam on the Weather Underground system showing plenty of sunshine around City Hall. Rhodes College campus. Temperature early this morning of about 61 degrees. No heat index to worry about, so no problems there. Back to Ole Miss with some decent amounts of sunshine early this morning and from Ventress Hall on the Ole Miss campus as well, doing pretty well. Ranger 2015's webcam on the Weather Underground system from Senatobia, Mississippi at the construction site looking good. And from Clarksdale, Mississippi, Heidelberg Elementary, plenty of sunshine as the school day gets underway there. For the rest of the day today, we're going to have the big weather story of the day. What is going to be a probable major hurricane affecting the Bahamas, Cuba, Haiti, and back on up toward Hispaniola? We're looking at a Category 4 storm. Winds are at about 130 miles per hour this morning. And that is, again, just borderline Category 4. And as it works its way back on up to the north and to the just slightly west of north at this time, looks like it's going to be skirting the gap between Haiti and Cuba. People are being evacuated from Guantanamo Bay and areas around Jamaica getting set and ready to go this morning for the possibility of some very strong winds. As you notice, in the last couple of days, this storm system has just sort of limped along. It's not really doing too much at this time, seeing kind of a wandering direction. But in the next few days, it's expected to work its way on up to the north, and that is where we're going to be seeing a lot more problems. Now, these are called, all these lines on screen are different computer models running the numbers 
to see what exactly may happen. And as of right now, most of them are in decent agreement as we get into about the next four to five days. As this storm continues to wander its way northward, the system is showing a little bit of a worrisome trend at this time as it appears to be curving back to the west by just a little bit, which means that in about the next several days, I would not be surprised to see the possibility of maybe some more watches and warnings being issued into portions of the Gulf Coast. So if you are heading to Miami, anywhere up the Florida coastline, Georgia into the Carolinas, and all the way up into New England, D.C., New York, Baltimore, Philadelphia, and that area, I would watch very carefully for the possibility of the storm making its way up and very close to the area. Heavy rains, gusty winds could be a problem, and if you are going to be traveling anytime soon, this is a not a storm to be messing around with. It could be a major hurricane, a Category 3, by the time it gets close to the United States. And if this track starts to wander even farther to the west, it's going to be necessary to get a lot of people out of its way. So keep it tuned to News Channel 3, and we'll keep you updated on what's going on there. Quick check of the Almanac information. Sun Moon, moon will rise this morning at 9.12 in the morning, set tonight at 8.28. Hopefully some good views of that. 10.06 a.m. will be moonrise tomorrow. Sunrise this morning was at 6.57 will be just around 6.57 tomorrow morning, losing daylight. Sunset will be a little earlier at about 6.39, 11 hours, 43 minutes of daylight today. Temperature yesterday of 84 for a high, definitely above normal, but not quite as close to the record high as we would like. 93 set back in 1954. 58 degrees spot on for our low temperature yesterday. No rainfall yesterday. We're behind for the month, and that continues a very dry trend out of September. We've got a major surplus thanks to all that rain we picked up in February and March. Burn bans in effect at this time, nothing for eastern Arkansas and nothing for Tennessee, but we have five counties at least in Mississippi, and more may be added to that list later on today. The only one in the News Channel 3 viewing area is Tippa County at this time, so if you're around Ripley, Blue Mountain, Faulkner, Tiplersville, Walnut, and Brownfield, that's going to be the areas that you are not allowed to do any outdoor burning, according to the Department of Forestry from the state government of Mississippi. Please check back with us, and we'll keep you updated on that potential threat for more wildfires out there. If we don't get enough rainfall anytime soon, we may see some worsening conditions out there for many areas, including Arkansas, so stay tuned for more on that. Mid-morning temperatures, lower to mid-70s. Lunchtime into dismissal time for the kids, mid to upper 70s to lower 80s. That temperature trend will continue through rush hour tonight into dinner time and then going back to around News Channel 3 at 10 tonight upper 60s to lower 70s. News Channel 3 daybreak about where we were today mid to upper 50s to lower 60s across much of the mid-south. High temperatures today just above normal in the lower 80s. Head, heading into tomorrow temperatures back in the high 80s and will remain close to the upper 80s to around 90 degrees by Wednesday but once again the trend continues with some very dry weather out there back into the upper 70s for highs for this weekend as a weak storm system comes on through may drop the potential of a few showers and thunderstorms Friday night into Saturday but emphasis on a few 10 percent coverage chance or less much nicer weather as we go toward next week lower 70s for highs 40s and 50s for low temperatures Numbers again on the rainfall potential not looking good over the course of the next several days, so not much to help out there. Could be some more problems with fog tomorrow morning. The fog forecast looking at maybe a mile and a half around Dyersburg by the time we hit sunrise and two to three miles across much of West Tennessee and Northeast Arkansas, so keep it tuned. To News Channel 3, and we'll keep you updated on that. Skywarn meetings training this week from the National Weather Service offered tomorrow on Tuesday at Ashland, Mississippi at the Benton County Courthouse on Thursday at 6.30 p.m. in Savannah, Tennessee at Hardin County at the Fire Station Department number, Area Number 12 on 90 Walnut Street. Other meetings to come. If you'd like to know more about severe weather, please drop by and learn more. It's totally free, paid for by your taxes. Great opportunity to learn more about how to be safe before, during, and after severe weather weather taught by the National Weather Service meteorologists and personnel so a great opportunity to learn more there. Cheryl Goodwin a beautiful sunset from Olive Branch in the Center Hill area thank you very much beautiful shot of sunset Sunday night from Paul Stackpole near the Wolf River in Cordova and thanks to Deborah J54 
Deborah Spiegel in Humboldt. This one from Alamo, Tennessee, of a crescent moon and Venus just after sunset. Got any pictures you'd like to send in? Aonic underscore WRAG3, and we'd be glad to send those along. And take a look, take a listen to my forecast available Monday through Friday morning on Yahoo Sports Radio with Bob and Josh on Memphis in the morning, and then with Sports Talk Extraordinaire on Talk Back Live with Bob and Josh right after that. And don't forget about our app. Go to the app store of your particular phone and search WREG Weather. And again, anything you'd like to send in to us, Aonic underscore WREG3. Questions, concerns, comments, ideas for this blog, please send them along. Austin.onic at WREG.com. That's it for today's edition of News Channel 3's exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. Stay tuned for more throughout the rest of the morning with me and with Tim and Jim later tonight on News Channel 3. Thanks for joining me.